All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about VMware. We're gonna talk about a couple things to be mindful of. Um, one of them is in case you try to run your VM and you have uh, any kind of error, and then you go to your VM location. And I want you to note down here too, while we're talking about that VM location, we're talking about where is the, v, uh, the virtual machine uh, located in the details down here, which is ultimately where you either A, imported it, or it got created, or you made it, where you're storing your files for your actual use. Uh, in my case, this is C drive. It's uh, actually on OneDrive uh, documents. I do not recommend OneDrive documents because that's just uh, something that uh, can cause a problem. And I'll explain that in just a second. But uh, what when we're, when we're working on VMs, you want to go to that location right here. And if you're having a problem opening it, and it says it's it's already in use, or it can't be used, or or it can't open it then you generally are going to see this dot lck file which is a lock file um, you're going to want to uh, basically you're going to want to hit uh, delete that delete the whole file now only if you're having trouble opening it right so uh, a lot of times too what i'll do is I, i'll cut it instead of deleting it i'll cut it completely out and then i'll move it to a new location um, I'll go in here to my somewhere at, let's just put it in documents and let's put it in the virtual machines and let's come in here and create a new file that says uh, recently locked uh, file or VM recently locked VM and then we'll, we'll also put the date you know this is December 2022 uh, this does apply further than that, but again, when it comes down to it, I'll, I'll move that there, and let's come over here. So now I don't have anything. Now I'd have a, a bunch of snapshots, okay? So keep that in mind too. That's another thing that I highly, highly recommend, but let's go ahead and crank this thing up. Now, um, if it does fail, which it could, right? Uh, like right now, it's saying that Windows wants to repair itself. Now I've done this on purpose so that you will actually see what you can do to repair this. Um, <clears throat> in the focus of what we're talking about, you can actually restore this. Um, you can actually let it go through its own diagnostics and fix itself. Um, sometimes, most of the time, it will fix itself and uh, you can continue on. However, if it does not, you have the option all the time to run, uh, you know, you basically come over here to your settings over here and uh, you have the ability to run snapshots. Now, I'm a every time I run something um, I, I run a snapshot so there's a ability to restart you can come over here to advanced options and continue uh, at, you know by troubleshooting and see if you can fix this um, you, you can go through that or you can just revert to a snapshot um, troubleshoot reset this PC let's just go back let's just close it turn it off let's come back and go and as we're turning it off um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our snapshots and you see there's three times where I've, I've actually opened it today and it failed um, basically what I'm going to do is revert back to the last time that I've used it and I'm going to basically come over here and uh, go to that location alright so I'm going to go to that location which now my VM is going to go directly to the last successful time that I've used it and then I'm going to crank it up and then what's going to happen here is it will work perfectly. It will crank up and have no problem. So I'm a big fan of using the snapshots because what I'll do is I'll come in and clear these out later. The ones that failed is I'll come back and clear those out. So let's actually go in here and uh, verify that the, the VM will work properly. Uh, again, because when it comes down to it, there's a lot of things that, that come in play when you're talking about VMs and and the way they work and things that could come up and, and things you need to be mindful of when it comes to actually, you know, getting them back working. Um, also be proactive and uh, make yourself a snapshot. Um, you can do that manually or automatically. You see the VM is working right now. So I do have this working. So we'll come over here and we'll shut this down. We'll shut this down because I want to show you the other factor of this. So we're not done yet. Um, <clears throat> so just be mindful. We're going to come over here. Uh, let's let this crank up a little bit. It does 
want to let just like Windows, it naturally wants to uh, come up and, and get all of its services running before it shuts down. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if it uh, shut uh, allow us to shut down now. Okay, so we're going to shut this VM down. And then what it's going to do, and I want you to be mindful of this, it's going to actually come over here and, well, we'll, we'll let this shut down completely and I'll show you. Well, it's going to show, it's going to have um, our actual um, snapshots. Now, I'm automatically taking snapshots. You can do that manually if you want to, but again, being proactive is something that I'm, I'm a, a huge fan of because this could save you a lot of time and effort after you're working on a VM and you have everything working the way you want it. Um, you know, if you happen to lose all that data, it's pretty frustrating. You know, I've been there, I've done that. Um, so this is the reason why I actually am proactive enough to go in here and use my, the, you know, snapshots right here. So you can see I do these every time they power off. Now I'm going to delete these real quick because obviously those were bad, right? So I'm going to delete those. Um, I no longer want to have a bad point of reference. So no matter what, I can come over here and delete that. Um, now there's a key, a couple key things you need to know. You can manually, like I said, manually make a snapshot um, and you can automatically take a snapshot. So in options right here, it says snapshots and it says when, what to do when power off. So when, when I power a, a VM off, I take a snapshot. And, um, or you can choose to revert, or you can choose to just power off. Now, if you choose to just take a, just power off, then you have the ability to manually take a snapshot. Um, now, when it comes down to that, um, you come down here, over here to snapshots, and you can take a snapshot manually. If you choose to do that, just by going up to the button up here. Just make sure you're in a healthy state when you do that because right now, if I crank this back up, it is still in a healthy state. So uh, I wanted to show you a couple key things. Again, um, lock files are very important. Move those um, if you get them. If they're there and you can't start your VM, uh, either A, delete them and that will go to your recycle bin or uh, cut them and paste them and put them somewhere else in case you need to put them back. That way you don't take any kind of risk. Um, the third thing is always be proactive, be proactive, make snapshots. Um, I automatically do snapshots and then I, I go back and clean those snapshots up over time. And the reason I do that is because I want to make sure when I have a healthy system and when I don't have a healthy system, I can easily revert back to when I have a healthy working system. You actually saw that working. You actually saw me have a problem. You actually saw me, ha how do I, I restore that? back to a later date which was working perfectly so um, with that said hopefully you learned a lot from this video and we'll see you guys on the next one